Hello my foodie friends and welcome back to another edition of In the Kitchen with Karen. So today I'm going to be making for you one of everybody's favorite comfort food dishes and that is chicken pot pie. But today in keeping with our healthy meals for January I'm going to try to make it a little bit healthier. Instead of using a regular crust we are going to substitute almond flour for the regular flour. So it's going to hopefully make it a little bit healthier. And then it's going to have all the usual suspects like the mixed vegetables, the shredded chicken, and a nice sauce. It's going to be quick and easy to put together and I know your family's going to love it. So let's get cooking. Let's get started on our sauce. We're going to need two tablespoons of melted butter in a pan. Then add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now we want to let this cook about 30 seconds so we get the raw taste out of the flour. Next we're going to add one cup of chicken broth. and one cup of heavy whipping cream. And now we're going to stir this until it's thickened. A quarter teaspoon of dried thyme and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Now make sure you're constantly whisking this. And a few turns of cracked black pepper. So our sauce has been simmering for about five minutes and this is the thickness that you're looking for. And now we're going to add a 12 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. This one has green beans, carrots, corn, and peas. And it wouldn't be chicken pot pie without the chicken. So what I did was I took three chicken breasts and I roasted them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees and then I shredded them up. You can also cube the chicken but I think it looks better when you shred it. So this equaled about three cups. Now when you add the frozen vegetables to the sauce you're going to notice it kind of gets really thick. But don't worry about it because when it cooks in the oven, it's all going to blend together really nice. Now that we have this all nicely mixed together, we're going to transfer it into a greased baking dish. So we've sprayed our baking dish.
So we have our oven preheated at 375 degrees and we're going to put that in there for 15 to 20 minutes or until the top gets a nice golden brown. Then we're going to take it out, cover it with some foil because we don't want the top to get too brown and cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, let's take it to the oven. Now tell me, that don't look good. So as you can see, the top is a nice golden brown, and I did tell you 15 minutes, but it actually took 20. So now we're gonna cover it with foil and continue to cook it for another 15 minutes or until the filling gets nice and hot. So our chicken pot pie was baking covered in the oven for another 15 minutes and this is how it looks. And now at the end we're just going to add a few extra touches. We are going to brush each one with a little bit of melted butter. It's just going to give it a nice extra flavor. And then we're just going to sprinkle it with a light bit of shredded Parmesan cheese. And for color, a little finely chopped fresh parsley. And there you have it guys, our low carb chicken pot pie. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Time for me to give it a try. The biscuits on top came out perfect. Now, even though there's not regular flour in there, and we used the almond flour, they're still light and fluffy, and they almost melt in your mouth. And you get that nice cheesiness from all that mozzarella cheese that we put in there. I think I like this topping just as good as the kind made with regular flour. So I hope you guys are gonna give this a try. I really think you're gonna enjoy it. I think your family will love it. So please give this a like, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye everybody. Come here, be famous. Do we? Gonna make you famous. See that?